Big news in the incredibly niche world of mountain bike power meters is that Rota have just released a new double-sided power meter and it's called the 2-in Power. The headline feature of the power meter is that it's the world's first true double-sided mountain bike power meter. The old Rota in power model or something like a Stages was single-sided on the left crank arm and to get the total power number you would double that number. With the new Rota 2 in power you get power from each crank arm which means it's a much more accurate picture of your overall power. So depending on which way you look at it it'll be telling you how much fun or how much misery you're having. Obviously having a true double sided power meter also means that you can work on things like left leg, right leg imbalances or if one leg's a bit stronger than the other. Coming from Rota, it's obviously compatible with Rota's Q-rings which are oval and the idea is that they claim that they reduce fatigue by eliminating the dead spot in your pedalling stroke. The turn power features Rota's new direct mount Q-ring which means it's a bit easier to fit and you can have it in really small chain ring sizes even down to a 26 tooth. Being double sided means it's slightly heavier than Rota's old in-power model. Our sample with a 32 tooth chain ring weighed 713 grams, whereas the single sided equivalent weighed 665. Now that's light, but not earth shatteringly so. I've got a SRM with a SRAM XX1 Eagle crank and that's a touch lighter. Rota have designed the two in-power to work with just about any mountain bike frame and standard you can think of. This means they've had to widen the Q factor to 169.5 mil. That's a touch wider than most cranks, which isn't ideal, but then again, you are getting that kind of universal compatibility. It's a 30 mil spindle, which combined with one of Rota's bottom brackets should work with just about any frame. Another neat feature is that the two in power has a rechargeable battery, which is housed inside the spindle. You lift a little flap on the right hand side, on the drive side, and you can attach a magnetic charger. That way you don't have to worry about replacing batteries. And obviously all the kind of electronics and gubbins are hidden inside the spindle, which keeps them a little bit further out of the way of all the water and grime you're gonna encounter when you're mountain biking. It uses AMP Plus or Bluetooth, so it should connect to just about any ride computer you can think of. Last bit of spec, it's available in 165, 170 and 175 crank length options. And it's available only in Boost Chainline. We don't have any official pricing yet, but it looks like it's going to be just north of £1,000 or €1,000. Obviously, that's not cheap, but you are getting the true left leg, right leg measurement, which means that hopefully the power meter is going to be much more accurate than a single sided, which just presumes that you're going to be perfectly balanced. But obviously, before all this, I need to thoroughly test it to get a true picture of its performance, its reliability and its accuracy. I've already had it fitted to my long-term bike, my specialised S-Works Epic, and I'll be letting you know how I get on in the coming months. If you've got any more questions about the power meter or how to grow a great neck beard, let us know in the comments. Cool, we'll go with that.